But when I, when I think about the role of organized labor in the American system, I think focusing on wage bargaining is too narrow a way to think about it. I, I, I really thinking about who is able to get the ear of policymakers in Washington. And policy is incredibly complicated. Right? And influencing it, especially in the American political system, requires endurance. It requires persistence and organization. And on all the big issues having to do with income distribution that we've been talking about today, you know, unions, whatever criticisms one might have about possible negative effects of unions in particular situations, they've been on the side of middle class economic interests on these issues. They've just become weaker and weaker. So if you think about like tax policy, the people who, have argue, who argued against the Bush tax cuts right, were, was organized labor more than anybody else. They're just not nearly as strong as they used to be. So I think too often people think that the role of unions in a modern economy and in a modern society is about their ability to bargain for wages. And that is, that is a significant part of the role that they play. But more broadly, they're an organized voice that potentially provides some countervailing power against the kinds of groups that we've been talking about today. And countries with higher levels of income uh, equality than the United States has are all countries that have stronger unions than the US has.